In today's video, I want to share with you a Bible reading plan that's going to help you learn your Bible like never before. It's called Professor Horner's Bible Reading System. So let's take a look. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Spencer Conway and here I share weekly tips and tools helping you read and love your Bible. So if you're new here and that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button to make sure you're in the loop with all the content I'm putting out each month. Today we are doing a Bible plan review of one of my all-time favorite Bible plans, Professor Horner's Bible Reading System. And this is one of my favorites for a specific reason. It has made a huge impact on my life personally. See, as a teenager, I had a hard time learning how to get consistent in my Bible reading every day. I would try those Bible in a year plans, but they would get monotonous after a few weeks reading only a couple chapters a day. It was always difficult to make it out of Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, and so I would always get discouraged. I would quit, and I didn't know how to get consistent, but this Bible reading plan helped me learn how to get my reps in every single day because of the fresh way it it, it, it approaches Bible reading. So if you want to get access to this Bible reading plan, you can find it on the Version Bible app by typing in Dr. Horner's Bible reading system or Professor Horner's Bible reading system, or you can type in that same thing on Google. And there's a PDF that comes up from Professor Horner that shares the Bible reading system and how you can use it each day. I've linked that PDF in the description of the video. You can check it out there. But let me highlight a few key things you need to know about this Bible plan. The first thing you need to know is this. Uh, the purpose of this Bible reading plan is to help you learn your Bible like never before. Dr. Horner wants you to be able to understand where things are in your Bible. He wants you to get to know your Bible. He wants you to understand the context of the biblical narrative. He wants you to be familiar with each and every single part of your Bible, and that is why he made this plan. He's going to be taking you 10 chapters a day, but he's doing it in a unique way. See, we're not going to be reading through 10 chapters in a row, starting in Genesis and going from book to book to book. We're not even going to be doing it chronologically, like in some of those chronological Bible plans. No, instead, what makes Professor Horner's Bible reading system unique is the fact that he's divided his readings each day into 10 lists. That's right. There's 10 different lists or 10 different different books of the Bible that you are going to be reading through each day. So let me really quickly share with you what those lists are. You have the Gospels, you have the Pentateuch, which are the first five books of the Bible, Genesis through Deuteronomy. You have uh, two different sets of the epistles, which are the letters that the early church leaders wrote to the various local church communities. You have wisdom literature, and in this list, it only includes uh, Job, Song of Songs, and Ecclesiastes. Psalms stands out as its own list. Proverbs has its own list. You have the historical books, which are, you know, from like uh, Joshua all the way on to like First and Second Chronicles and a little bit beyond that that share the history of the nation of Israel. You have the major and minor prophets in one list. And finally, you have one of my favorite books, the book of Acts, standing out on its own. So you are going to be reading one chapter from each of these lists every single day. In a way, it's almost like you're doing 10 Bible reading plans at once. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but it's still only 10 chapters a day, which works out to being about 30 to 40 minutes of reading every single day. And here's why it helped me get over the hump as far as learning to read the Bible consistently. Like I said, I struggled with the monotonous three chapters a day found in the Bible in a year plans. And it was always difficult when you got to some of the more... Uh, confusing parts of scripture, the bl more bland parts in, in some of the Pentateuch, it was always hard for me to push through. But what's so cool about this plan is because you're reading one chapter from 10 different lists each day, you get such a, a uh, mixed bag. You get such a, a varied approach to the scriptures each day. So even if you are reading one chapter from Leviticus or one chapter from Deuteronomy or some other part of the Bible that is confusing, or harder to get through, you're also reading from the Gospels. You're also reading from Psalms, 
Proverbs, the epistles, all over. This plan has you all over the Bible every single day. And the coolest part about this approach to the Bible is how it shows you as you go through week by week and month by month, it shows you how hyperlinked the Bible is as a book. There are so many cross references in the Bible and you will begin to see all the different ways, the themes and the motifs and the ideas overlap and intersect from Genesis to Revelation, this is a Bible plan that really opens up your eyes to the supernatural inspiration of the Bible. It is amazing. In fact, I'll show you this uh, picture that I've showed in videos before. It really, this, this picture here really reveals how hyperlinked the Bible is as a book. There's like over 60,000 cross references in the Bible. And if you were looking for a plan that was going to help you enter into this aspect of the Bible, Professor Horner's Bible reading system is the plan that's going to help you see this more clearly. So here's what you can expect to cover. Here's the ground you're going to cover if you commit to this Bible reading system, right? Every year, if you read Professor Horner's Bible reading system, you will go through the four Gospels at least four times. You'll read through the Pentateuch two times. You'll read through Paul's letters four to five times, the Old Testament wisdom literature six times. You'll read all of Psalms at least two times, Proverbs and Acts 12 times, and all through the Old Testament historical books and the major and minor prophets one and a half times. You are going to be covering a lot of ground in this Bible reading system. And over time, guess what? It's going to help you learn your Bible so well. My, my major tip as you read this Bible plan is this. Make sure that you read quickly. This is not a Bible reading plan for deep study. If you're looking to go into deep uh, detail, it, it, this is not the plan for you. Because if you take that approach, you're going to be reading forever. The goal is to read 10 chapters a day at a pretty quick pace, and over time, as you get those reps in each day, your understanding of the context, your understanding of the biblical narrative is going to increase, and your familiarity with where certain books are in the Bible is going to increase as well, because since you're reading from 10 different books a day, you're having to turn and flip from book to book multiple times each day. Now, if you are planning on going through this Bible plan using the YouVersion Bible app, Here's one tip I want to share with you. The YouVersion Bible app only goes for 250 days. And that uh, might make you think that the Bible plan only lasts for 250 days. But the reality is this Bible reading plan goes on for as long as you want it to go on because this is how you're supposed to read it. When you finish one of your lists, let's say you get to the end of uh, the four Gospels. You just finished John. You don't stop reading uh, the Gospels. You just jump back to Matthew chapter 1. If you get to the end of Acts chapter 28 in the Acts list, you don't stop reading Acts. You just jump back to Acts 1. And so what's really cool is that even if you finish the Bible reading plan on version, you can keep the Bible reading uh, going on beyond the 250 days set out on version. And here's what I did to keep my Bible reading going as I'm doing this plan. I just started using the bookmarking feature on version to keep track of where I was in each list. And what's super cool is though I do go through different Bible reading plans still today, I now am able to use this Bible reading plan as sort of an intermediate Bible reading plan that I always jump back into when I'm not really sure what uh, Bible reading plan I'd like to do next. Now that's only because I used this Bible reading plan for like three years of my life. And so there came a season in my life where I wanted to start focusing on some different Bible reading plans. But for you, if you're looking for a new solid Bible reading plan that's going to help you learn your Bible, that's going to help you become familiar with the scriptures, and that's going to keep things fresh and new each and every day, I'm telling you, the Professor Horner Bible reading system is the plan that you need to go with. So that is all I got on this Bible reading plan. It's a solid plan. It's going to change your life, I believe, just like it changed mine. But hey, I would 
love to hear feedback from you in the comments on what Bible plan you are reading through right now, or if you plan on taking some of my advice and trying out Dr. Horner's Bible reading system. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay in the loop with every new video I will be posting. But hey, that's all we have for today. I can't wait to see you in the next video.